Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Jacqueline Amorum, Amorum versus Corey McKenna. Very, very young fighter in Corey McKenna. Jacqueline Amorum, 7 and 1, 5, 3, 68 inch reach, uh, <laughs> 10 inch reach advantage for Jacqueline in this matchup. You know, she is, she's 7 and 1. Corey McKenna, 8 and 2, 4 and 1 in the last five fights. 4 and 1, at same for Jacqueline Amorum. Basically a pick up. I mean, it's it's minus 105 to minus 115. It's basically a pick up. Four years in age difference for Corey McKenna and Jacqueline. A 5-3, both 5-3, 58 and a half to 68. Crazy. Nine and a half inch reach advantage for Jacqueline Amorum. Good thing for Corey McKenna. She's a very, very good grappler. So that helps a lot. De has lost a fight against Elise Reed, which is wild because Elise Reed is terrible. De get got back on track against Miranda Granger, Von Fluchoke, and also beat uh, uh, Cheyenne Velismus, the girl that was dating JP Buys and married to him, and was cheating on him with Roman Delize. If you didn't know, now you know. A little over a year ago at this point um, for Corey McKenna. Jacqueline, again, 4-1. Lost to Sam Hughes, Hughes, which I think is an underdog pick right there. I like her a lot, obviously. And she, she did get back on track and beat Mazaret Canajo Ruiz. Ground and pound. So she's actually pretty good on the ground as well. Uh, <clears throat> they have longer fights. So if there is... Um, uh, bets and stuff for a short or like over one and a half or under or whatever definitely go the over 14 uh, minutes and 21 seconds to 13 minutes and 13 seconds um, again strikes landed per minute for both women is damn near even 3.42 to 3.01 accuracy is 52 for Jacqueline 40 percent for Corey Strikes absorbed per minute is 1.81 to 3.22, which again, good grapplers, striker versus grappler. I think Jacqueline's a little bit more well-rounded on the feet. I think she gets a little lost sometimes on the ground or uh, on the uh, when it gets to the ground if she's not on top. 62% defense to 48 defense, striking-wise. Grappling, again, is where it's a little bit different. Takedown for a fight for a fit, average 15 minutes, 1.57 to 2.04. Takedown accuracy is 23% to 56%. Takedown defense. Goose egg for Jacqueline Amorum. 71% for Corey McKenna. Submission average for 15 minutes is 3.1, 3.7 to a half for Corey McKenna. So Amorum is good when she gets to the ground for attending submissions, but she hasn't gotten any. Well, she got a Von Flu joke, but against uh, Granger, but that's not off of her back. So, yeah, I, I really like Corey McKenna in this one. I think she does a lot of really, really good things. I think her eagerness, I think she's constantly pushing and putting the pressure on Jacqueline. And if I think if Corey has a bad first round, I think she can definitely uh, get her grappling more involved, get uh, in good positions to even control. I think Corey McKenna wins a decision 2-1. to one. Either she... Uh, starts the fight out well or she ends the fight not great one of those you know situations or wins the first round loses the second and then wins the third something like that she wins a two to one decision i think Corey mcgenna mckenna again taking this year year out year in two months off at being 24 years old almost 25 of course but the ability to learn and adjust as much as she has already it is crazy you know she beat kate hansen uh, seven and three, three years ago when she was 21 years old, maybe even 20 at that point. Went to a decision for, with Vanessa Demopoulos three, three and a half years ago, and again looked very, very good on that one. We know how tough Vanessa is, even though she robbed her last opponent of a victory. But whatever. Corey McKenna wins this one. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you guys think. Talk about it down down there in the comment section. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Peace.